so today we're going to be looking at a practical paper, paper two for June, May, June 2014. I'm going to look at a few of the questions that are on this paper. And we're going to remind ourselves of some of the things that we would normally do if we were to type the paper. All right, so this document is asking you to use, uh, to create a letter using letterhead. And of course, the letter is to be in semi-blocked style. Remember the different styles? We have blocked, semi-block, and indented. How do we go about creating a letter in semi-block style? Take a look at this, please. So in semi-block, the following elements are right aligned or start from the center of the page. Those are the sender's address, if letterhead is not used, Complementary close, signature block, designation, and those they say are right aligned or centered. The remaining elements are left aligned, and those are references, the recipient's address, the salutation, the subject heading, the body of the letter, the enclosures, and the copy copy notation and the postscript. Remember postscript, what is the abbreviation for postscript in manuscript? PS. PS. We looked at that abbreviation. If you go back through the videos, you will come across it. All right, let us look at the next comment balloon that I want you to Remind yourself of. Ah, this one. What does this one mean? No, it's not a line. It means you are to bring whatever is in the balloon to that section where the arrow is pointing. But you notice there is nothing there. So it means that you have to scroll and find it. When you scroll and find it, you will know what is to go there, which would be this here, this here, the subject of this letter is invitation to make a presentation. So this would have been put or placed where you have that little balloon with the arrow attached to it. Are you following? So once it is done on the same page, you have to just scroll through the document to find it. All right, so I wanted to bring that out for you. All right, let us search for the other balloon comment. Comment balloon. It would be this. Remind yourself of what this means. Keep it. It means to leave it unchanged. So it means that you're not to bother cross out to. You're to let to remain. So the witch would. What do you think? Would, what would you do with the witch would? You don't bother to do anything about it, right? Because they don't bother want you to strike out to and put which would. So you would what? Have two alone. Very good. All right. This is another reminder. What does that mean? Leave it unchanged. And see the line, the dash line is under the word. So you're not going to bother to cross out root and put road. You're going to leave root. Route, sorry. Yes, you see means uppercase. So S would be in uppercase. Yes. Let us look at the other comment balloon. To create a column chart. Who remembers how you go about creating a column chart? This has to do with a spreadsheet question. Yes, what's the first step? After you open Excel and you type your spreadsheet, what's the next procedure? You have to block the data that you need to create the chart. That's the first step. Yes, you cannot create a column chart or any chart without blocking what you need to create a chart. All right? 
So off. of course, when you have blocked your data, you then click on insert, like you said earlier, and then you choose the appropriate chart, which in this case is a column chart. All right, and then you will put in your, 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 your label. So you give the chart a title, you put in your y-axis and your x-axis labels. Are you following? And fix up your keys if it needs to be fixed. Your, your key. All right, let us now look at another comment balloon. There's no more? Or is there's another? Maybe there's another on the page, the last page. Yes, there is one here. How do you go about creating this dash line with the scissors? No, you don't go to cut to get that. It's really something that you have to create. Usually this comes up in a um, permission slip document. So where do you go to create it? It comes on the symbol. Yes, it comes on the symbol. Yes, it is done in a word, word document. But you have to go to insert, then symbol, then more symbol, and you'll have to select the font called Winding and search for the scissors. All right? And to get the dash, the dash line, you just hold down the... the dash key all right so that's it for 2040